Thank you for this opportunity. My name is Julia and I'm here to represent a Finnish Generation Equality Youth Group coordinated by UN Women Finland and Plan International Finland. I am proud of my country that has made bold commitments to advance gender equality through technology and innovation. Technology can be a powerful tool to advance equality. If we want inclusive solutions to tackle our challenges in the future, we need youth, sexual, gender, ethnic and religious minorities, disabled, women and girls to be in the teams that create technology. I have tried to get my voice heard in decisions that affect my life. It has been exhausting. This is why I find internet and social media important channels to youth and especially those whose voices are often ignored. I participate and take actions online. I want to discuss and share my thoughts. Online gender-based violence and hate speech is narrowing our spaces and making me and my peers feel unsafe and unwell. This is true threat to equal participation and even democracy. We need algorithms that protect people that are oppressed. As individuals, we must come together to create technology and online spaces that advance gender equality. We need governments and technology companies to make sure that everyone is able to express safely who they are and what they think. We all have right to feel and be safe online. Dear participants, child and youth representatives, excellencies. As we heard from Julia, technology can be a positive transformative force, but it can also deepen the digital divide. The digital leap taken during the COVID pandemic highlights the importance of human rights based governance and ethical consideration, especially when it comes to children and young people. As Julia rightly noted, the Online environment plays an important role in many young people's lives. It also has worrying negative aspects. In addition to online gender-based violence and hate speech, the rapid development of AI raises questions related to privacy. With every click, children's and young people's personal data is being collected and this digital footprint follows them into their adulthood. Concerns over privacy and the use of their data are growing. The work of the Generation Equality Action Coalition on technology and innovation that Finland is co-leading is in many ways creating new paths. We are happy that UNICEF is with us in this process. One of the concrete commitments is the joint project with UNICEF to create virtual safe spaces in the Generation Equality campaign. The project facilitates access to information and services to adolescent girls in a safe way. Finland is also very proud to have supported and worked closely with UNICEF to create policy guidance on AI for children to promote children's rights in the digital age. It's crucial that children's and young people's rights to privacy and their autonomy as actors are taken into account in designing services, regulation and policy. Dear participants, UNICEF is a key partner to Finland in our efforts to leverage innovation and technology for sustainable development and for the benefit of all. Finland has contributed for several years now to the UNICEF Venture Fund, which is a first mover in the UN innovation architecture. Our partnership with UNICEF will deepen further as UNICEF will establish two innovation hubs in Finland with the aim for accelerating innovations for children in two areas, learning and innovative financing. These hubs will address the global learning crisis and the growing funding gap for children's well-being worldwide. 
Finally, ladies and gentlemen, if we are to reimagine and create a better and more sustainable future for all, we need to listen to children and young people and include them as stakeholders in the policy making process and in conversations about their future. And most importantly, we have to provide sustainable solutions. Thank you so much.